Despite the fact that the Pokemon Company has proven to be pretty stingy when it comes to releasing new Dragon Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet era, Dragon continues to be one of my favorite decks to pilot in GLC. I have faith that powerful new Dragon Pokemon will be on the horizon soon, just like they were at the end of the Sword and Shield block. Surely we're gonna get more Dragon Pokemon towards the tail end of the Scarlet and Violet block. Despite the drought in Dragon releases, Dragon has continued to grow and evolve as a GLC deck, and in my opinion, is more powerful than ever thanks to some new cards that it gets from Paradox Rift. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing my Dragon GLC deck against my good friend Alex Holtz, who is going to be piloting a Psychic deck featuring the new Zatu from Paradox Rift. I'm stoked to get to the gameplay, but before we do, let's hear a word from my sponsor, Dragon Shield. Dragon Shield non-glare sleeves are back. They come in two colorways, black and clear. The black sleeves are my absolute favorite for competing in the Pokemon trading card game. The sleeves have a non-glare front, which makes them look really nice on camera, and a matte back, which shuffles terrific. In my opinion, Dragon Shield non-glare matte sleeves have the best shuffle out of any sleeves on the market. They feel light and crisp in your hands, perfect to maneuver around, riffle, or mass shuffle. And they offer that premium protection for your favorite Pokemon cards that you've come to expect from Dragon Shield. Make sure that you only trust your cards to the best sleeves in the game. Head over to dragonshield.com today and place an order for some Dragon Shield non-glare matte sleeves. Huge thank you to Dragon Shield for being a continued sponsor of Tricky Jim. Yes! No, I already know what that means. I don't even have to look. Good luck. Good luck. 50% start rate on the Snorlax doll. Absolutely insane. <laughs> yes, I play the new Snorlax doll from Paradox Rift. You can only put it into play if you open it in your starting hand. And since there are only five basic Pokemon in this deck, I have a 21% chance of starting the Snorlax doll. Drop. And I'll bench Gibble. Pass it on over to you. No energy attachment. All right, we'll draw. Oh, this is great. Fog Crystal. Probably looking to get a basic here. So we'll take the Natu off the Fog Crystal. Throw the Natu on the bench. Throw the Inkay on the bench. We'll attach Horror Energy to Mimikyu. Play Cynthia. Shuffle draw six. So we got the Mysterious Treasure in hand. I could grab a basic. Could also save it, which is kind of what I'm thinking. We got the Filch, and then we can save it to grab Zatu and hopefully draw more cards next turn. So I actually will just go ahead and Filch draw two cards. Draw. Ooh, nice top deck there. I've got Gabite, so I'll evolve Gibble into Gabite. Nice to know that that thing's not prized. The clear supporter for turn is going to be Guzma and Hala. I'll play Guzma and Hala, discard Raihan, and revive. Guzma and Hala is pretty much the perfect supporter to start if you're playing the dragon deck. It allows you to search your deck for a tool card, a stadium card, and a special energy. And always the premier special energy in the dragon deck is the double dragon energy. So nice to see that that card is not prized. I do want to see what my Pokemon situation is in the deck, though. Like, do I have the entire Dragonite line? I see Garchomp's in here. That's great. This list is playing the TM cards. I've got Technical Machine Evolution and Technical Machine Turbo Energize. The really cool thing about the Snorlax doll is that it can use the TMs while not giving up a prize. So I can actually attack with the Snorlax doll. Like, I could evolve my Dratini into a Dragonair and do all sorts of fun stuff. I could also get an attack going this turn. I mean, I could just get in there real quick. Discard the Snorlax doll, get Drampa, Double Dragon Energy, Luxurious Cape, and just say, like, I'm coming in hot for, like... <laughs> Off of Guzma and Hala, I'm going to get Drampa, Stormy Mountains, and... That is not how that card works. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
off of Guzma and Hala, I'm going to get Luxurious Cape, Stormy Mountains, and Double Dragon Energy. There you go. Which go into my hand. Thank you, Alex. Put Stormy Mountains into play, and I will use it to get Drampa. And then I'll use Gabite's Dragon Call to search out Dratini and put Dratini onto my bench. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to discard the Snorlax doll, but you know what? The pure intimidation of the Snorlax doll really, you know, really helped me get this match started, I think, so that's fine. Going aggressive not always bad, especially since my start. I mean, I've got the two guys, but it's going to require a lot. I think so, to respond, right? Attach double dragon energy to Drampa. Discard the Snorlax doll from play. Attach Luxurious Cape to Drampa, giving it plus 100 HP. And I'm doing that just so that I don't get burned by getting Drampa responded to quickly. And I'll probably at least get two swings out of it. It basically just adds another piece that I need. Exactly. Get rid of the Luxurious Cape on top of all the other stuff to respond. Probably not happening. And I'll Berserk for 70 damage, which takes the knockout on Mimikyu. Because of Horror Psychic Energy, I do take 20 damage. So I've got to be able to do 100 here if I get rid of the cape. Promote the Nah to its best U-turn board candidate once it evolves. And draw. Um, I'm going to Stormy Mountains. Just look through my deck. Make sure the pieces I want are there. The Krozma could do it. I have a way to get a Psychic Energy into the discard with Mysterious Treasure and then be able to Raihan it back. Mysterious Treasure, discard the Psychic Energy. Signed by my good friend Miko. Appreciate that. And we will grab the Necrozma. Dang, dude. I can't believe I'm getting sauce turn two like this. Yeah, he does 160, not quite 200, but at least we can get rid of the cape. Throw him down. Play the beautiful Raihan. Attach the Psychic to Necrozma. Search our deck for any card. Grab the counter, and this actually... It's pretty good because it sets up for next turn when the counter turns off. If you don't respond, I'm only one attachment away from being able to attack for 160. Exactly. We will go ahead and attach the counter energy here. Scoop up net the Natu. Throw the Natu back down. Play Field Blower. Discard the cape in the Stormy Mountains. So we'll just go ahead and special laser for 160. If you say go ahead and one more time, I'm All gonna, right. I'm gonna yeah, reach yeah, yeah, across yeah. the table and I'm gonna. You got me nervous over your man. And I'm gonna smack you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I told him before this stream, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's my number one thing. Don't say it. It sneaks bro. up on you. <laughs> I didn't say it more than one you time. You said it three times that turn. My bad. <laughs> Here we are. All right. Put the prize back. Play the field blower. You're doing the whole sequence again. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and special. <laughs> Drampa goes down, and that is a serious response. Honestly, I am, uh, I'm kind of blown away that you were able to piece that all together, but I have an even spicier response in return. So I'll promote Gabite and draw. I happen to have the special charge in my hand, which allows me to shuffle two special energy from my discard pile back into the deck. I'm going to put the double dragon energy back in, and then... I mean, I pretty much need to discard my entire hand to make this play happen, but what else do I got going on? I kind of have to go for it. Versus Seeker for Guzma and Hala. Use Dragon Call. I'll use Dragon Call to search Garchomp and put that into my hand. Then play Guzma and Hala, discard Super Rod and Field Blower. With Guzma and Hala, I'll get Parallel City, Double Dragon Energy, and Float Stone, which I'll put into my hand. Play Evolution Incense to get Dragonair out of my deck and evolve Dratini into Dragonair. Evolve Gabite into Garchomp, activating Sonic Slip, which makes it so that Garchomp cannot be affected by damage and any effects of attacks during your next turn. Put Parallel City into play. Attach Double Dragon Energy again. And Dragon Blade for 160 damage. Discard the top two cards of my deck. At least they were two good cards. They were. This is tough. I really was not expecting you to be able to pull that off. Me neither. <laughs> 
I was thinking, whoa, I'm so owned. And then I was like looking at my hand and I was like, holy smokes, the special charge is right here. Throw the NK up. Drop return. I drew the Malamar. Can evolve the Malamar. I've got the mystery energy to be able to attach it. An ordinary rod to throw stuff back. Unfortunately, I have no way to search for a useful Pokemon. I've got a Lusamine that I could play grabbing Raihan and Cynthia, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. Lusamine. Put Raihan and Cynthia back into my hand. Give me some more options for next turn. Top deck in Malamar was a little awkward. All right, because it seems like you're ready to sack the NK. Yeah, I was ready to give up the NK, but, you know, there's no promises that I'll be able to get to the Zatu. And there's already a Psychic in the discard, so I am kind of partial to keeping it around. Throwing the Mystery Energy on it is fine, because I can always promote it later and retreat it. So I'll probably just end up sacking the Natu. Evolve to Malamar, retreat. Not going to use Psychic Recharge this turn because I'd like to keep it in the discard for a real attacker. And then I'll pass it to you. Drop. Okay. This is tough. I did just uh, top deck N, which is a great card for me. Do I want to give Alex new cards? No. Yes. However, I don't have squat going on, so I'm definitely going to play it. Attach Floatstone to Dragonair. Escape Rope to push that Malamar up into the active spots. And then I'll play N. You've really just got everything. And this is fine. It allows me to get another energy attachment down. I don't find another attacker. We're just going to attach fighting energy to Dragonair. And retreat into Garchomp. Dragon Blade for knockouts. Discard the top two cards of my deck. He was all I had, man. Promote the Natu. Giratina. Bump that parallel... With Dimension Valley, plays Sonia. I guess we have to grab the Mewtwo and the Marshadow, and then pray we draw into everything. The Mewtwo does 180 since you're at three prizes or less, so it's not impossible. Bench the Mewtwo, throw the Luxurious Cape, play Marshadow, let loose, shuffle in, draw four for both of us. Four each. One, two... Four. We are live. Evolution Incense. Search for an evolution Pokemon. Zatu. Evolve to Zatu. Use its clairvoyant sense to attach a psychic energy to Mewtwo. Draw two cards. Not two great ones. Nest Ball. Search for a basic Pokemon. I'm thinking Ralts here. If this game is going to come together, which I still feel like there's a chance. You don't have a ton going on. Mainly just the Garchomp. <laughs> if you've, if this game is going to come to pass, we're going to need the Ralts to either draw cards or to use Gilead to search for supporters every turn. We are going to have to pass to you with the Zatu in the active. Oof. Drop. Play Nest Ball. I've got two targets for Nest Ball. It's either Drudagon or Reggie Drago. Drudagon is a great, reliable follow-up to attack with, so... With Nest Ball, I'll get Drudagon, which goes to my bench. Play Trainer's Mail. And let's get Town Map. Love that card. Love it. Town Map is just a, a GLC feels good card. You get to turn all of your prize cards face up for the rest of the game. And it can really help you to map out your <laughs> get it, map out your uh, your game plan. Like, boss's orders could be really good if I have to chase down that Mewtwo and knock it out for two prizes. Play Professor's Research, discard my hand, and draw seven. Love to see the Hex in the discard pile, considering the Versus Seeker is also in the discard pile. Play Mysterious Treasure, discard Technical Machine Evolution, and I get to search my deck for a Dragon or a Psychic Pokemon. Funny, both of our decks play that card. I'm getting Dragonite's. Evolve Dragonair into Dragonites, and then I kind of like the rest of my hand. Play Rescue Stretcher to get Drampa back from my discard pile, put it onto my bench. Use Fast Call. Can't be many left. <laughs> there is uh, one supporter left in my deck. <laughs> I'll fail it. And that's why I was saying there's, there's still a route, even though I'm pretty far behind. There is a route, for sure, definitely. Play Energy Lotto. Off of Energy Lotto, 
I'll grab water energy. Attach the water energy to Drampa. Dragon Blade for knockouts. I'll take boss's orders off the prizes. Sounds good. Promote Mewtwo and luckily Dimension Valley stuck. Drop a turn. U-turn board a little late. That's okay. Throw the U-turn board down on Marshadow. Marnie. Yeah, I was really hoping for one of my counter stadiums to bump that D-Valley, but no luck. I got five, you get four. I'm just going to keep it simple. Attach a Psychic. Limit Break for 180 damage. And Garchomp goes down. Alex takes a prize. Promote Dragonite and draw. Fast call. And we definitely are using Cynthia and Caitlyn. Play Cynthia and Caitlyn. Discard counter energy. The supporter that I want back is 100% Raihan. And I get to draw three. Put Town Store into play. Attach Aurora Energy to Drampa and discard Hisuian Heavy Ball. Retreat into Drampa. And Berserk for 70 damage. So we got 160 left. Draw for turn. Play Professor's Letter. Two Psychic Energies. Attach return. Play Hex Maniac. Limit break for 180 damage. Trampa goes down. Alex takes a prize. Promotes Dragonite and draw. And I've got Raihan to attach the water energy from my discard pile to Dredagon. Search my deck for any card. Alex goes to read Dredagon. Yeah, it does 160, <laughs> doesn't it? I'm too used to Kangaskhan. Yes. <laughs> attach fire energy, retreats. And revenge for 160 and two prizes with the luxurious cape. That's GG's. Now that was actually really close. I was at the very end of my resources there. And you just needed to get past this Drudagon. Once you got past this Drudagon, I had no gas left in the tank. Also, playing on stream is a lot harder than I thought. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Lots to think about trying to think of the optimal plays. Probably made a few that were not. It seemed fine. I was watching you, making sure you weren't doing anything like totally Egregious. stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did like that it felt like I still had answers, even though going behind early. And I think going aggressive for you is definitely the right decision. If I would have had a few more turns to set up, you yeah. would have been cooking for the rest of the game. I agree. I was reeling from that Necrozma response. I mean, I couldn't believe it, but we got to kind of show the explosive nature of both of these decks. I did turn 270, you responded for 160, then I responded for 160 again and made myself invincible, which is just like nuts. But then you got the Mewtwo cape and then you started mounting a comeback, which is pretty crazy. Didn't have the boss orders in hand to be able to kill the Dredagon. So I had I rainbow yeah, energy yeah. in hand, so then I could have proc the Drampa to do. Yep, so I was good. I was good. Between a rock and a hard place on that one you were and i had no way i really didn't want to attack with the mewtwo but zatsu's down malamar's down you had no choice counter energy's down bench and valley you know we had to we had to send it yeah you had to send it there was no option there that's what i was worried about the mewtwo going to the bench and there being a response ko but there was nothing that was going to be able to get the job done will you be choosing to go first or second i will choose to go second okay second again 29 only 29 percent believed in my dragons oh man You'll all see. You'll see my dragons are broken. Good luck. Good luck to you. Wobbuffet. Draw. I've got a strong opening hand with Quick Ball, Treasure, Tag Call, and Technical Machine, Turbo, Energize. Love that. I'll be able to maybe use that next turn to help get this party started. I think this game, I'm probably just going to forego the Luxurious Cape, so... Quick ball, discard, luxurious cape, and let's take a look at what we got. Man, my hand cam's giving me problems again. Get Gibble off of quick ball. Attach fire energy to Drudagon and pass to you. Draw for turn. And I'll be honest, I drew three mulligans. Almost nothing came out of them. I could end or let loose. Putting yourself down to four seems a little awkward, but it puts you down to four under ability lock. It's sort of why I'm considering the let loose and drawing a supporter. So we'll attach mystery energy to Wobbuffet. You are about to lose this game. Why? 
Go for it, dude. Just do it. Do it. It's what you're going to do. I'm just letting you know by doing it, you are going to lose. I will draw better than you out of it. That is that is that your actual reasoning? Personally, I would play N, hope to find some better cards, then let loose me. However, go for it, bro. Bet you hit the research off of that. That's let loose. sort of what I'm thinking. Go for it, bro. Yeah, that does seem like a challenge. Let loose. All right. When you let loose into four godforsaken cards and I get the Guzma Hala knockout next turn, you're going to be beside yourself. That is not, you do not have it like that. Well, not yet. We'll see. I haven't drawn any cards yet. Would you like to cut? I feel like this is optimal cutting zone. <laughs> well, I want you to cut so that when I draw the heat, you know you cut me right into it. All right. You're good, bro. I just want you to know this was entirely your fault. I've got cards. <laughs> Wish I would have drawn the research. You got it in. <laughs> it ends up not mattering the whole time. I like to keep the parallel, but I do need to get basics. Quick ball, get rid of parallel. It's a tough decision between Natu and Ralts. Zatu obviously is the energy acceleration, but you have to have the energy to be able to draw out of it. And if I draw dead on energy with Zatu, it's real feels bad. So I am. Going to go ahead and grab the Ralts. Bench the Ralts in. Now you just got to draw into the scoop up net so that you can let loose again. That would be ideal. Draw six. Play the Fisuin Heavy Ball. So we got the Malamar prized. No basics. Colerson and Iona are prized, so things to keep in mind. Bench the Mimikyu. Pass to you. Drop. This ability lock is really messing with me right now, unfortunately, but that's okay. Play Nest Ball. Nest Ball for Dratini, which goes straight to my bench. Play Hisuian Heavy Ball. Ooh, my Guzma and Hala is actually prized. Blech. Oh, I was totally fine with that let loose then. <laughs> that's fine. With Hisuian Heavy Ball, I'll fish the Reggie Drago out from my prize cards. And put it onto my bench. And now, we wait. Go ahead. You wait. Draw. Muscle band. To the Wobbuffet. Attach. And Psychic Salt for 30. Oh boy, he going in. Oh yeah, we're going in. <laughs> but I'm ability locked, so I can't like do anything. I can't evolve into Dragonite and find a supporter. I can't evolve into Gabite and Dragon Call. I can't Dragon Sword to draw cards. So, I mean, it works. Draw, pass. Oh, yeah, that worked. <laughs> Draw, nest ball. Now he's cooking. Can't believe you tried to make fun of my Marshadow play there. <laughs> and we have the Zatu in hand, so the Natu is what we're going to go for. No Psychics, which was the issue I was talking about earlier with the Zatu, which is why I grabbed the Ralts. It's all good. You could, you know, find Curlia, then refinement into Psychics, then draw more. Yeah. Oh, we're chilling, and this Psychic Assault is going to be scaling fast. It is. It's a three-hit KO. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to Psychic Assault for 60. Okay. Drop. Evolution Incense. And with Evolution Incense, I'll get Gabites and Evolve. Gibble into Gabites. Parallel City. Discard the Mars Shadow. Go ahead. Draw. Evolve into Zatu. Psychic Salt. Okay, my Dredagon goes down, and sure enough, Wobbuffet slowly gets there. Promotes Reggie Drago and draw. All right. Now it's game time, baby. Teammates. With teammates, I get to search my deck for any two cards that I want and put them into my hand. And I know exactly what two cards I'm going for. With teammates, I'll get Escape Rope and Double Dragon Energy. Play Escape Rope. Don't love it. Switch into the Mimikyu. And I'll send up Gabite. Use Dragon Call to search out Dragonites. Rare Candy to evolve Dratini into Dragonites. Evolve Gabite into Garchomp. Activate Sonic Slip, which makes me invincible next turn. Attach Double Dragon Energy to Garchomp. And Fast Call. Broken deck, bro. I want to get a card that I don't want to discard off of Dragonblade. With Fast Call, I'll get Raihan. 
And this is interesting because even though Wabafet turns off abilities, Sonic Slip was activated while Wabafet was on the bench. So even if Wabafet comes back into the active, Sonic Slip's protection still is activated. Play Revive to get Drudagon back onto my bench. And then Dragon Blade for the knockout, 160 damage. And discard Boss Guzma, of course. Yeah. Promote Wabafet. Draw for turn. Kind of an awkward hand. A lot of supporters. The Raihan would be nice, but unfortunately, do not have any psychic energies in my discard. Yeah, I think this is going to be what we're going to do. I'm going to boss the Dragonite. Yeah. Rescue Stretcher for Marshadow. Let loose. Yeah. I cannot search out my supporter cards with Lava Fett, so sticking something like Dragonite in the active is certainly a fine strategy. Use Zatu's Clairvoyant Sense to attach Psychic to Ralts. Draw two. Two more Psychic Energies. We'll get ready to use Glade. Attach another Psychic to Ralts. Keep it up. Psychic Assault for 30 damage with Muscle Land. There we go. Draw. Playtown Map. Love it. I can take all the terrible cards off my prizes last, like Snorlax Doll and Asui and Heavy Ball. And thankfully, I did find Arvin. So play Arvin. And with Arvin, I get an item and a tool card. With Arvin, I'll get Special Charge and Floatstone. Floatstone to Dragonite and Retreat into Garchomp. Blend Energy to Drudagon. And Dragon Blade for the knockout. Discard versus Seeker and Rainbow. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> if there was ever a chance to come from behind, these Dragon Blades might be making it possible. Yes, these are extremely painful, but it's, it's fine. I'll manage. And people were asking about the boss's orders signed by Mr. Mr. Pig, Pig Chef. Chef. Yes, the tabletop editor. That's my card! This is the Turkey Gym community member who was the first and only person to ever ask for Big Chef's autograph. Uh, who is Alex Holt? Off of my prize, I'll take Guzma and Hala. This is tough. I've got things to do. Let's see what the top deck is. Promote Ralts. Draw. We're sort of looking at an Iono and hoping to get an attacker. Was really hoping to top deck the Raihan. So I could have grabbed the rare candy and gladed, and we would have been in a great spot. I get five. So looking to power up Giratina. 160 off Dragon Blade is crazy. Could draw into good cards here. So we'll scoop up net the Marshadow, play it back down, let loose. Yeah, you need something. You need an attacker going. It's been a lot of pressure from this Garchomp. Did not get much, to be honest. But I know you've got Verse Seeker, Boss, and Guzma in the discard. You don't have to say it like that. Really gnarly discards off of the uh, Dragon Blade, yeah. Which means we're actually going to be looking at a teleportation burst here for 10 damage. And switching into the Marshadow. Draw. This does give me an opportunity to just kind of continue building. Uh, I don't care to Dragon Blade anymore, frankly. I just keep milling valuable resources. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I think I can just get so far ahead to where it doesn't matter. Trainer's Mail. And with Trainer's Mail, I'll take Mysterious Treasure. Mysterious Treasure to discard Technical Machine. Turbo. Energize. And I'll get Drampa. I've used my rope already, I think. It's Garchomp time, baby. That's just what it is. Bench Drampa. Water Energy to Drampa. Professor's Research, discard my hand and draw seven. Pretty sure I drew into every single supporter card left in my deck. Fast Call, not everyone. Fast Call for Mela. Attach Technical Machine Evolution, just to thin it out of my deck. And Dragon Blade for the knockout, discard Water and Energy Lotto. That's fine, I can live with that. TM Evolution gets discarded and I'll take Magma's Secret Base off my prizes. All right, promote the Ralts, and we are in Mewtwo territory, which is the only good news about this. Draw. Part of me wants to pull up that Dragonite. Part of me wants to draw cards with Clairvoyant Sense and be able to actually do stuff in the future. So I am going to bench 
Mewtwo. I'm going to play Sonya. I'm looking here for two Psychic Energies. I've got three left in deck. This is going to put me down to one left in deck. And then ideally, we force you to kill the Mewtwo after we Clairvoyant Sense and attack. Hopefully get the Curlia, which would set us up for Gallade plays from there. Putting 30 on the Dragonite was actually pretty relevant because Shadow Impact. Also relevant because it powers up my Berserk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clairvoyant Sense attaches like to Mewtwo. Draw two. And there she is. First, got to do this in order. Retreat. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, because Curly is fat for whatever reason. Yeah, two retreat on that guy. I don't know what that's about. Only 80 hit points. Evolve. Unfortunately, I want all these cards, but I think the one I want the least is this mysterious treasure, so I will refine them to the way. Draw two. Psychic. Dimension Valley. Finally get rid of Parallel. Necrozma. Limit break for 180. And Garchomp finally goes down. Thank God. I could not afford to Dragon Blade again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Promote Dragonites and draw. Dang. What's up with me not having any energy in my hand? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, is this the time? It's time, bro. I can't believe it's finally time. It's time. Oh, I'm so happy. Tag call. Fail it. Put... Stormy Mountains into play. And Super Rod. There's no way I power up Garchomp again. If you do, I'd be impressed. I'll shuffle Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp back into the deck. And then Stormy Mountains for Gibble. Sure. <laughs> Attach Counter Energy to Reggie Drago for turn. And Mela to attach a basic Fire Energy from my discard pile to... One of my Pokemon, and then fill my hand to six, so I'll draw two. Retreat Dragonite into Drudagon. Use Fast Call. Search out Guzma and Hala. And Revenge for 160 damage. Take Town Store off of my prizes. So we have the Counter Energy in hand. That can help us with a Raihan, power something up for three energies, or attack with the Gallade. Reggie Drago and Drudagon are both doing 160, which I don't love. I think it's the time to go in with Necrozma. Draw. Evolution Incense. Looking at a Raihan here off of a Gallade search. So we will grab the Gallade. Use Refinement from Curlia. Discard the Rare Candy. Draw two. Evolve. Buddy Catch. Search for a supporter. Raihan. Use the Raihan. Psychic Energy to Necrozma. Search for any card. So, thinking about grabbing the cape to prevent a knockout, but going down to three prizes, I wouldn't be able to attack with it more than once. So I'm thinking it's probably best to give up the Necrozma, attempt an attack with Gallade later. Unfortunately, we're running out of energies. It's not ideal. You've definitely put me in a rough spot. All right. So... I will grab this Psychic Energy. Clairvoyant Sense. Draw two. Town Map. Play Level Ball. Get the Inke, potentially set up another attacker if need be with the Malamar that's in the prizes. That's why Town Map's so good, right? I mean, you get to kind of just map this mm -hmm. out. You see the Malamar's prized. I get to Level Ball for Inke. Go get the Malamar. Next turn, Malamar's online. Perfect. Attach counter energy. Special laser for knockout. Drodagon goes down. Alex goes to three prizes left. It's tough. I will probably grab this Malamar here. Promote Dragonite and draw. Ooh, that's a good card. That is going to change everything. Special charge. I'll shuffle back in the double dragon energy and rainbow energy. Then... Guzma and Hala discard Battle VIP Pass and Town Store to get Double Dragon Energy, and that's it. <laughs> I don't love what I'm doing here, but it seems like it's probably the best. I, either way, I'm just going to have to draw into something at the end of the game, but that's that's just fine. Because I'm down Raihan, I'm down Mela, 
I don't love that I'm giving the double dragon energy to Reggie Drago. It gets knocked out, and then I could get end to one. But that's just what we got. Double dragon energy to Reggie Drago. Put Team Magma's secret base into play. Retreat Dragonite. Fast call one more time, just so I'm familiar with... Well, that's a lot of outs. All right. I've got four cards in hand, so I cannot use Dragon Sword. I'll Giant Fangs for the knockouts and take Hisuian Heavy Ball so I get to keep the pretty little Snorlax there. <laughs> Basically, my thought process is we promote this Zatu. Draw. Top deck the U-turn board. Evolve to Alamar. Buddy Catch. Hex Maniac is a play that could be made. Not sure how relevant it is. I also have a Tulip in hand. Could start Clairvoyant Sensing. We're going to need this cape, so the answer is probably going to end up being teammates. So I'll grab the teammates off Buddy Catch. Teammates. Luxurious cape. Could get rid of a float stone with Field Blower. Psychic Recharge onto the Glade. Retreat. Throw the cape onto the Glade. Field Blower. The Magma Vase and the Float Stone. Swirling Slice. Move the Psychic. Bro's giving me a swirly, dude. Go down to two prizes. We'll take this Psychic Energy here. Draw. Fighting Energy. Field Blower. Berserk for exact damage. 160. And the game. GG's. 2-0 with the Dragons. Was unfortunate. Thought I might have been able to do it with the Luxurious Cape. Yes, yes. It's tough. I mean, it's like you needed to end to one, but then you also needed to put a cape on that thing. Try like you're trying to make it so that I have as difficult time as possible taking that final knockout. You knew all of my gust was gone. The potential was was there for like a Marnie play. The end didn't have it. Played it really early, remember after that's the, after right. The, the end was... and the end and the Iono were both gone. Yeah. That's so right. Okay, so teammates was the best. We had option. to buddy catch the Marnie and try to hit the cape. There was no psychic energies. I had four cards in hand, so giving me four new cards is like... And, yeah. With and Dragonite out. You had Dragonite anyways, yeah. so I was just, well, we'll see. Yeah, exactly. Not. That's the best play you could have made, I think, was yeah. was the one you made, and I just happened to be sitting on the field blower. So two really good games, though. I think we got to see the aggressive nature of the Dragon deck and how different it can be with these new tools available to it, the Snorlax. Mela is a card that I really like in this deck. I got to use it that game, which was super cool, and just the tool-based nature, having Arvin is also just a really nice selective card as well. And I got to let loose three times, so. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did. was hoping the ability lock would stick just a little bit longer, but yes. it is what it is. Yeah, I know. The Wobbuffet definitely got in there, and that was pretty exciting. And took a knockout all by itself.